This is the plaintiff, Peggy Licamelli. She said the defendant has an illegal sign in front of her house claiming there's no parking allowed. This is a bogus, illegal sign. But somehow, she got her car towed and she had to pay over $300 to get it back. She got the ticket dismissed by the court. Now the defendant won't reimburse her for the tow or the damage the tow company caused. So she's suing for the $847.97 she's most definitely owed. This is the defendant, Eva Gurgis. She says she lives around the corner from a school, and the plaintiff, who's a teacher, parked on the street blocking her driveway. She called the cops. They wrote her a ticket, and she was towed. The plaintiff claims her driveway is not a driveway, and if the plaintiff can prove that, she'll bow down and kiss her feet. She's accused of faking it. All parties, please raise your right hand. People's Court is now in session. The Honorable Judge Marilyn Williams is presiding. Litigants have been sworn, Your Honor. Thank you, Douglas. You're welcome. All right, Ms. Licamelli, you are suing Ms. Gargis for $847 that you say you are out as a result of her, I guess you feel, illegally towing you. Tell me what happened here. Um, so I want to step back before yeah. that day because there was another event on September 14th that I parked there and um, I received a phone call and then text messages and I walked outside and I had a conversation with Ms. Gargis and I said it's not a driveway, the curb doesn't, isn't cut and um, just because you hang a sign that says no parking doesn't mean it's a driveway. Um, and I left my car there and I went back into work. Um, I'm a teacher in the nearby What school. time did you have that conversation with her? I could probably tell. And how did you get text? How did she know what, what your oh, number was? And in everything? that conversation, I said, how did you get my number? And she told me she went through my car. She went through, she went inside your car and she went, went through? inside my car. Okay. So, um, I actually, at the end of that day, I, I couldn't stay that day and wait for the police to come. I called the police. They did not come. Um, but I went to the police precinct on the following Monday and filed a harassment. They said I couldn't file a, um, like a theft or... I don't know that it's harassment. I thought it was a trespass, but I mean... Well, the phone calls and the... They wait, said, oh, when you say the phone calls, she, she was... She called my phone and, and said what? I didn't answer. And then she texted you. Yes. And, and I have those text messages. Right. And... Saying, do you own a white Subaru? And, and I And you say, say, who's asking? Right. And then she says, I'm trying to be nice before you get a ticket and towed. You're blocking my driveway. Right. And then you go to the house, and that's when you have the discussion with her. Right. And then you tell her, I'm not moving my car because that's not a real driveway. Right. And your car didn't get towed that day. Did not get towed Did you that call day. the police that day to issue a ticket? I don't remember what day it was, to be honest but with you. But there was a, 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 a confrontation with her beforehand, right? I believe so. I don't remember. It was so long ago. I'm well, not gonna lie okay, to you. but this I is don't. kind of a big event, right? You, you know, you're in court over this. I'm sure you've I, thought about this. I so, didn't. you know, you did you go through her car, get her number, and text her? No, ma'am. The door was opened. She left her door open. The door in the back, the it back was door unlocked. was opened, not unlocked, opened. So I didn't not open just it. unlocked, but opened, and Correct. then you walked in it. I didn't walk into there. There was a paper on the floor. And then you've stuck your hand took, inside of it exactly. and grabbed the paper to get her number. Exactly. Yeah, no, you can't do that. All right, so then you, uh, so, and I doubt her door was yeah. actually open. It might, clearly it, it was, was unlocked. Open. But in any event, you call her and you say, I'm trying to be nice. Exactly. You're blocking my driveway. And what does she do or say? She goes to see you personally? She walked over very with vulgar language towards me that it's not a driveway. I said, what do you mean it's not a driveway? How do you know? This is a driveway. Okay. It's been a driveway since 1929. How long have you lived there? Since 1972. I can't imagine this is the first time this happens, is it? No. People park in front of there all the time. Yes. Right. And they do that because the sidewalk is not cut for a driveway, right? Well, why it, it was it? redone twice already. But and why isn't it, okay, but there's, there's a certain procedure to have the city approve you having a driveway. In other words, you can't just park in your front lawn. You know, it's got to be approved to be a, a, a driveway, right? Right. Did you ever go through that? I went to the city a long time ago, and they couldn't find anything. I went into Manhattan to find the paperwork. Did you actually request to be able to make a driveway? I never requested. I asked for the paperwork for the driveway. 
And what happened? Because that, from the time before, when we bought the house, when my father bought the house and my mother, there were bushes there. My father removed the bushes and made it all concrete. Okay. And that's the way it was. So then from position. 1920, there hasn't been a driveway there. It, since your father bought it is when there no, it was created there a driveway. There were bushes. You can't park on bushes. No. All right. You got so, rid of the bushes. All right. So then there has not been parking there since the 20s. So now what happens is, according to you, that your father concretes it, and then uh, does, he, does he also install the gate? Yes. Okay. And that happens when? In the 70s? I don't remember. And when did you take possession of the house? I don't own the house. Oh, you don't? No. Okay. Do you live in the house? Yes. Have you lived there since the 70s? Yes. Okay. How many times has this happened? Total about five. That's it? Yeah. I would have said 500 in a year. No, I'm not going to lie. About five. No, I would say that it has to they be... have no courtesy. No, I, w that's, I would think that more people would park right in front. No? They do it in my, my other neighbor's yard, too. Same thing. All the time. And he has, yes, and he calls on them, too. And the other one, he's a fireman. He calls on them, too. Calls on them, what do you mean? To have them removed. To have the cars towed? Correct. On the day when she refused in September, Correct. when she said, I'm not moving my car, that's not a real driveway, did you call the police? I don't think so. I don't know. It was very hard to get a police officer. Oh, so you time. called, but they wouldn't come? They didn't come. So which is it? Did you call or did you not call? I don't remember. She did call. Right. And I called as well. And I couldn't in wait. In September. In September. And what happens? I couldn't wait. They didn't, I, you know, by the end of the day, they had never come. How do you know she called? Because she called in front of me. So the police don't come. I assume you had to go back to class. Did you leave your class? I went back to class. Yeah. What were, then, the, what were the heathens doing while you were out in the street trying to solve I, your pocket? It was my off period. Oh, it was your off And period. then when okay. I was teaching, there was an announcement made over the PA asking the owner of my vehicle to move. So she disrupted the education of 2,000 children in that building. Oh, I doubt that. <laughs> well, <laughs> I think you're I overstating teaching. the case, yeah. but all right. Exactly. There are 2,000 children in the school. Yeah, there may be, but an announcement to move your Subaru did not disturb their education. So now, now comes November. And you call the police on her, mm -hmm. and this time the police do go out there. The police give you a ticket, don't they? Correct. So tell me about that. So I got the ticket dismissed. How um, do you first learn that something happened? You just go to your car and I it's got missing? I my car. It was missing. Okay, because it, it had been towed. on Monday. And so you come out, the car's not there, and what do you do? I call the precinct because I believe it was her because we did have words in the morning. Of course. She yelled the, out oh, the wait, window. Oh, wait, of the November, that same morning? Yes. Tell me about out, those words. She yells out the window, you can't park there. I said, you don't own the street. And there were neighbors going, go, girl, to me. <laughs> okay. Um, I said, you don't own the street. It's, it's a legal parking spot. I am leaving my car here. And I went into work. How bad is morning. the parking around there? Very bad. So in the morning, you say, mm -hmm. tough for you, and you go to school. You're a very bold woman. <laughs> like, in other words, I, I, I would be thinking, oh, heaven forbid the cops do ticket me, and then I get towed, and then I have to go to the people's court. That's the kind of thing I would be saying. But not you. You're like, no! And then you turn around and you go back to school. And then yes. what happens? The cops ticketed you, and then she called the tow well, company. Because the tow won't happen. Us. See, the tow won't happen unless the cops ticket you. Yes. Right? So you now know because you've since well, had to go pick up your then. car and you, now you know that the cops did ticket you. Yes, I had to go to the precinct Right. and then they looked up and said, yes, you were issued a ticket. Here's the tow company. So then you go I to the tow company. Go to the tow company, get my car. Somebody drove us to pick up the car. Right. And you had to pay how much to the tow company? Okay. So the tow company is... $321.16. Yes. Okay. Then the, the ticket... You fought. Yes, I fought. Okay, and, but you did not win on the merits. The judge says this is not on the merits. It's a technicality with the charging document, right? Okay. Yes or no? Uh, yeah, okay. it does say that. So somewhere. you didn't win on the merits. All right, so here we are now, ladies, and we're going to have to figure out if this is or isn't a driveway. So let me hear from you, Ms. Licamelli. Why don't you prove to me this is not a driveway? Well, I was able to have someone search the New York City Department of Buildings, and it indicates that there is no curb cut for that driveway and it also, or for that address, and it also indicates that a request was made and a request was rejected. For a curb cut? For a curb cut. Let me see that. There's a second report there. Hold I don't on. Who is Alexander, the person who's a friend of yours, doing the run for you or something? I believe so. My, it's someone my husband 
Right. According to this, there had been a request by your address to get a curb cut, and that request was rejected. Tell me about that. I don't know anything about it. Is this public record, or is this privately for the Department of Buildings? What I know is that the police officer does not have access right, to Right, so then that. I wouldn't have access either. Right. And then the, the second thing says something about a search for any kind of curb cut request, and that one said records not found, but then this one does have a record of it being rejected, so I'm confused how these two conflict. I'm, I'm not 100% sure, because it was someone else. Let's see some pictures. Do you have pictures? Mm -hmm. I do have some face front pictures. Okay, which one's her house? We're in front of the black car, or in front of the white car? The, in front of the white car. In front of the white car no. where this no, white... No, 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 back. In front of... In back of the white car. I am in front of the gate of her house. I'll show you okay. from sideways here. Okay, so you here. staged it so your angle. car would be exactly where you were that day? No, that's no. a picture from that day. Oh, this is a picture from that day. Actually, this is a picture, picture from, from September. The... The September one. Yeah, it has to be September. I don't have a picture from that day because my car wasn't there when I got back. Right. And here is a picture of the gate and the driveway. That's fine. I want to see what's in front of the gate and the driveway. And I can't see it because your car's blocking it in this picture and your car's blocking it in, well, I can see it's kind of sideways here. And then in this picture, um, you're taking it too close. Well, because it's hard to get between the car and the... So... I mean, I don't see a curb, you know, the indentation that I should see when it's a driveway. I don't see that. I mean, you can't just make your own driveway. You have to have permission from Queens to be able to have a driveway. So do you have any evidence that there's ever been permission? Welcome back to People's Court. I'm Harvey Levin. So the question, can you kind of make up your own driveway where one doesn't exist without the city's permission? We're going to find out. Let's go back into the courtroom. So now you're not just suing for the tow. You're right. suing for bumper repair and brake replacement and tax for the repair bill. What are you talking about? When it got towed, they damaged it? The tow company damaged Why it. Why would she be responsible? It, like, it lets us... Because she had no authority to tow my vehicle. Well, no. The authority came from the police, who, gave, who their ticket gave the tow company authority to tow the car. Then the tow company, I guess what you're saying, is towed it incorrectly. Yes. That's an intervening act. And so you would have to sue the tow company for that. If, in fact, you could prove. But it never would have happened if she didn't. Yeah, I know. Me. But, you know, if he and I get into a car accident, I'm not going to sue his mother because it never would have happened if his mother hadn't had him. You know, like, we could go far. It's, it's, in the law, it's what's foreseeable, okay? Okay. So, so I understand that it's foreseeable that, you know, hey, you got towed, and so I'm going to sue for that because you know you don't have a driveway. I, can, I understand that argument, but... It is not foreseeable that the tow company would do damage to your car. That, that would never be on her. Excuse me, Judge. Yeah. Also, between the September and no November dates, the reason I got confused is September, yes, she was there. November was her coworker because I was in the window and I was telling her, do not block my driveway. I have to get in there today. And her, with her mouth, started screaming at me, vulgar language. What did she say? Talk to me if she's telling me I'm stupid. She called you stupid? That's she did, yes. Okay. But have some courtesy. If I'm asking you, please don't block it. I have right, to get but here's in there. What, wait, listen, by the time you get to me, I have one issue and one issue only. Okay. The issue is, is this a driveway or isn't it? And if it isn't, does she have to reimburse you when the cops came and gave you a ticket? Listen, I got to tell you, I don't think it's a driveway. I think you're right. But I now have to get to the secondary issue, which is if she calls the cops to call it, and the cops call it that you're parked in front of a driveway, does she now have to reimburse you because she doesn't have a driveway? When the cops said you were parked in front of a driveway, like the only reason she called for the tow is because the cops agreed with her, because she can't do the tow unless the cops give you the ticket. And if the cops give you the ticket, is she wrong in calling the tow company? No, that's your next step, is to call the tow company when the cops give you a ticket for doing what she says you shouldn't do. The cops agreed with her. I, I mean, you, you really need to find out if you have a driveway or if you don't. You don't get to just smack the, the sign there. And I think that before you tell people they can't park there, you better make sure you have a legitimate driveway. Oh, guess where I'm going tomorrow. Okay, good, <laughs> good, yeah. I'm not gonna make her recompense you um, because, uh, you know, the cops said it was a driveway. I'm ruling against you for the reasons that I just explained. And I just, I can't in good conscience order her to, I don't feel like you should be out it but I don't feel like she should be out it if the cops gave you the ticket. 
All right, verdict for the defendant. So, in a fascinating case about a, a driveway, is it a driveway or not, the plaintiff has failed to convince the judge in a really close decision here. Ms. Uh, Lika Melli, what do you, how do you feel about what the judge decided today? What, what are you thinking I understand that right the, the cops issued the ticket, um, but it is not a legal driveway. The woman knows it's not a legal driveway. Um, it's not a legal driveway. But will you park there again? How Maybe. about that? Maybe. 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 All right. So thank you very much. All right. So let's see what the defendant has to say. I mean, uh, well, let me ask you. I mean, this is a really close case. What happens now? What are you gonna What are you gonna do uh, in the future? Um, for next month, they're ripping up the road, so I don't have to worry about anything. Nobody's gonna be able to park there. Well, it'll get fixed at some point, won't it? At some point, yeah. All right. Well, listen, congratulations. I think you're lucky, quite frankly. Good luck to you, though. Thank okay? you, Doug. It was nice meeting and I, and you. And I think you... Yes, good. Okay. Thank you. Thank okay, you so bye -bye. much. Okay. Bye-bye. So, Doug, we've seen a million of these cases where somebody's car gets towed and they say it was done illegally. Well, in a situation like this, um, it's pretty easy because here you've got a policeman who sees that the car was illegally parked. And the judge is not required to follow what the police officer said. But if the police officer is there and sees it and then makes a judgment and writes a ticket, um, it's pretty much all she wrote. My boyfriend of 17 years moved into my house and started renovating rooms I wasn't sure needed it. He even put in a new kitchen. We broke up and now he wants me to pay him back the 80 grand he claims he spent on construction. But he doesn't have receipts. Do I have to pay him? What can I do? Well... Uh, I guess people really don't plan for the contingency that they're going to break up. I mean, no, they're together they 17 years and everything, but if he really spent $80,000 renovating the house, well, he should have receipts. Of for course one he thing. should have receipts. Unless he was the only one swinging a hammer and doing all the work himself, he's going to have receipts at least for materials, right? right? Uh, but yeah, he can sue her for it. Anybody can sue anybody for anything. Right, but is he going to prevail? I don't think so. But maybe he just made a poor decision. Yeah. You know, you know, it's like money I spent on my girlfriend. Right. What are we going to do? Sit down and go through all of the dinners right. they ever had well, and all the jewelry he may have bought her? You know. A lot of people think they're going to do that in a courtroom, but judges take a pretty dim view of that most of the time. No, anyway. it, now, if, uh, there have been situations where uh, a couple gets a divorce, okay? Right. They're getting a divorce, and the house belonged to one party beforehand. Right. Let's right. say the house belongs, this actually happened to a friend of mine, the house belonged to the husband. Right. So it's not her house. You can't get her mitts on it because right. the, it, it was his house going into but the marriage. But she has so it's improved gonna, it, maybe. But she right. spent a ton of money right. to improve it. And right. the law in that circumstance is that the money that she put into the house she for the improvements back. is marital right. property. Right. And so she, get, you know, so there is right. something to figure out. Right. There was but there's math no to intact out. marriage here. No, they no, never no. Get there's married. no marriage. So, you just spent a bunch of money. Right. You have no records of what you spent, and now you're claiming it's eighty thousand. It's probably. almost like. I think she dumped him, right? Probably, Wouldn't you think that's knows? probably what happened? Because that's how you say, "Give me right. eighty grand," right? Uh, or this you know, is without almost, any proof. It's <laughs> almost like an eighty thousand dollar girlfriend boyfriend loan versus gift. Yeah, dispute. if there's no contingency no. plan at the time he spends the money, that if we right. break up, I'm going to get X. Then right. no, he's not going to get X. Right.